Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Good morning to you, Mr. Speaker, and greetings to all parliamentarians um, present here today. Mr. Speaker, it looks like I arrived just in time for the passage of this um, motion. And of course, like the speaker before me, I, I do welcome um, the presentation of this motion to the House uh, this morning. So, Mr. Speaker, I will of necessity be, be brief, but just to raise a few issues concerning the recent passage of the storm. Uh, Mr. Speaker, it, it is um, perhaps better known now that the storm inflicted the most significant damage on the constituency of Beaufort during its, its, its passage, and this is mainly due to the fact that the center of the storm passed between St. Vincent and um, St. Lucia. But it is astounding still that the um, damage of such severity occurred. As you heard from the member for Denry North and Minister of Education, both the, the primary school and of course the post-secondary school suffered severe damage to the roof to their roofs, rather. And uh, in addition to this, we also suffered some damage to the St. Jude Preschool um, on the field itself. Um, happily, Mr. Speaker, I am in um, discussions with the Minister for Finance over possible assistance to the managers of the preschool to undertake some repairs. Um, this would be very, very urgent um, in time for the reopening in September. As you know, um, with preschools, it's not just having the children in the building, but of course providing extended assistance to the parents of the children who um, are normally employed and need to find a place for their children during the day. The St. Jude Preschool has been in existence for so many years and there's no question that they have provided a badly needed service, so I am exceedingly happy by the prospect that they can get some assistance um, to redo the entire roof of the building, which was uh, blown away by the storm. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I'm sorry that the, the member for Grosley and the Minister of Youth and Sports is not present with us today because my concern also has to do... I know he's in Parliament. Oh, he's listening somewhere. All right. Well, that's good. Um, my concern has to do with the Philip Masler Pavilion. Um, this building, the main building, also suffered considerable damage. The roof was also torn away. And uh, perhaps um, this was made easier by the fact that the roof of that building had deteriorated significantly over the last few years and no remedial works were ever conducted um, to the roof now for the last 10 years, so it was a fairly easy victim of the, of the storm itself. But I accept that um, there's more involved in the repairs to the roof, but I have to emphasize that the repairs really need to be treated as necessary and as urgent. Um, if only because, you see, Mr. Speaker, the Force South has suffered immeasurably in the last year um, because of the absence of serious activity in the community, allegedly because of the crime situation in the, in the community. I myself have had reason to take umbrage at some decisions of some bodies, including the Black Heart um, organizers last year, because I did feel, irrespective of what the police said, that um, the decision to um, re relocate or reassign Black Heart games elsewhere um, was not the wisest decision because no community should have to face that degree of marginalization and disregard as the people of Beaufort had to endure as a result of these, these decisions. I don't think decisions like that necessarily help the fight against crime because what you're really doing is to just punish ordinary people and that's really not the best thing to win their support. But Beaufort carries its crosses, Mr. Speaker. Um, and I'm certain, however, that a more enlightened approach will um, emerge after this experience. 
All of this is to say, Mr. Speaker, that I do hope that attention would be paid to the pavilion. I'm sorry I missed the presentation of the Minister of Finance, so you have to forgive me for what he may have said that I'm now covering. Um, or, um, this is all, all done in good faith because of my concern for, for these things. But there is the wider issue that I wanted to focus on. I have in the past repeatedly addressed this House about the vulner peculiar vulnerability of Ivor South because of the, um, of the sea level. And the time has really come for a more constructive approach to be taken to protecting Vieux South and the community of Vieux South. The warnings about the rise of sea level and of course the rise in temperatures need to be taken very seriously in all of these islands um, and especially in those islands where geography compels us to um, take those warnings very, very seriously. Mr. Speaker, the first area that I, I want to mention and ask the Ministry of Infrastructure to begin to, to examine seriously is the northern part of the um, airport, the, the northern part of the runway, abutting very close to the sea above Sandy Beach. Years ago, the Ministry had done some very good work to um, construct huge boulders, but if anyone visits there, you will notice that the power of the ocean, the constant, consistent assaults by heavy seas have displaced some of those very, very heavy rocks. And I am certain that I am seeing even greater incursion onto the highway. Although, as I said, some remedial work has been done. It really does mean that more resources have to be put to protect that northern boundary of the airport, but also to, to ensure that um, the disposal of, of water, particularly coming from the drain leading from the airport, um, has to be taken far more seriously than has been the case in the past. I should not have to be taking resources from my CDP's funds to be cleaning the main drain alongside the before fence. I mean, this should be seen as a drain um, belonging to the um, belonging to the state that ought to be cleaned regularly by the Ministry of Infrastructure. It's basically unfair for the parliamentary rep to have to utilize resources meant for use of the community, and it's time the Ministry of Finance changes its attitude to these matters. It's unacceptable that a major drain like this is left without um, appropriate desilting measures, but it goes back to this broader issue. That's correct, I've just, been sp I've just spent $25,000 to clean that main drain. I think it's 25 or 22 or thereabouts, so that's a fact. But you know, Mr. Speaker, what's that? Minister of Finance to make the money available to infrastructure or directly to the constituency if infrastructure is a problem. That having been said, Mr. Speaker, my deeper concern has to do with the issue of sea level um, in that stretch of road from Sandy Beach going to, going to Bruceville. And the time has come really to conduct a very serious study to determine what mitigation measures can be taken in that area to protect that area. We, we have a fundamental issue that there's no question that it is an extraordinarily beautiful part of the country. And I think testimony bears out the popularity of that area because on every holiday or weekends, hundreds of solutions go down to Sandy Beach to enjoy the beach. Although my thinking is that the time has come to put a levy on all outsiders to raise some money to be in the beach. But um, that's another matter. Yes, we need to protect our patrimony since others not protecting it for us. But jokes aside, um, Mr. Speaker, I think we do need a um, serious um, assessment to indicating to 
helping us to decide what mitigation measures are necessary because you could see the erosion and the damage now taking place very, very, very rapidly. So, Mr. Speaker, let this just be a little wake-up call for, for all of us. Nobody expects things to be done um, overnight, but we have enough signals to suggest that the preparation should be on the way and we have to take mitigation very seriously. Of course, if the sea level rises to the levels forecasted by those who are charged with the responsibility to monitor the changes in, um, in the climate, then it means that that area will be in very serious trouble and so too will be the international airport. So we need to, to really take responsibility and I fear that SLASPA will not take that responsibility. It is not usual that SLASPA has interest in, in these matters. Um, if they had, they wouldn't be putting a terminal so close to a, a river as has happening in the last few um, in the last few months with the construction of this um, new terminal building. So it's a serious matter that has to be looked at, but we need to prepare to decide what kind of mitigation measures. So Mr. Speaker, I welcome this, this resolution. Um, I hope that the repairs could be done very quickly um, so that the children can return to school in, in, in good time. And uh, of course, I want to plead in particular for this Philip Masler um, Pavilion. And I made comment about Black Heart a while ago because I'm aware that the Black Heart organizers want to um, locate some of their matches in before this year. I don't know whether we'll have the, the time to do so, but I am hoping that if we can get that main pavilion attended to, that would be possible. I wouldn't want them to use the building as another excuse after what happened to Viewport South um, in the previous year. So, Mr. Speaker, um, I'm grateful for this. I welcome this. and. Um, certainly it is a step in the right direction. So it, it certainly draws this resolution or motion certainly wins my fullest support and my blessing. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.